Hello and welcome to the Novice Coder. My name is Josh and today we're going to be going over part two of the blog tutorial series. Uh, in this video we're going to create the initial migrations and seeders for our blog and if we have time we're going to install the Laravel authentication package Laravel Breeze so we have a system in place to log in and log out. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> Okay, for, so for starters, we're going to go ahead and open. <clears throat> I use PHP Storm. It's probably my preferred um, code editor. And everybody's a little different. You might be using something else, but um, I prefer um, PHP Storm myself. Um, so for starters, we're going to need to uh, go ahead and create our first migration. Um, <clears throat> uh, really, the only migration I think that we'll really need uh, to create for for blogs. But we'll do um, in um, PHP Storm. You can open your terminal uh, down below here and actually just uh, type it in the uh, terminal in your editor. So we can do php artisan make, if I could type today, <laughs> migration blog, uh, we're going to call it create blog posts table. They have kind of a specific naming scheme that they tend to to recommend um, when creating these so um, we're going to create it um, in that fashion. Um, if we come up here to the database uh, folder, our migration shows up right here. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Um, so for starters, um, we're going to need table. Um, there's going to be a user that creates a post. So we'll do big, uh, big integer. This will be the user ID. And we're going to make it unsigned and we're going to index it because there's a good chance we might we're going to we could potentially search blog posts by um, user ID following that uh, we're going to have a text call a text field um, we're going to call that title so we're going to basically for our blog we're going to we're going to probably have a title and a main post section um, and we'll make that length Uh, length of 255. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go to uh, medium text, and we're going to call this. So oh, let's call it the body. Body sounds good, um, and we'll make that nullable. Um, you'll see kind of why we have that um, as nullable in the future, but. Um, You'll, you'll get errors if you have something, if you don't have it marked as nullable and you, you, there's a chance you're going to leave it blank for any reason. Um, table, uh, we'll call this one, this one's just going to be a string, and we're going to call it state with a length of 50. And that's just an obscure length there. Um, you could do this with a bool boolean um, field too. Basically, we're going to have a um, um, oh, is it um, published or draft? Um, it's really up to you how we do this. Actually, you know what? Let's do a boolean just because I think that's uh, kind of the accepted um, way to, to to do it in most uh, most senses. But um, Typically in, in my databases, I like to have it listed as draft or published, um, like actual text, so it's readable for me. Um, you can do zeros and ones to signify um, draft or published, but we'll, we'll go ahead and do the Boolean for this one. Um, after that, we'll go ahead and do table. Uh, we'll do another one. This one will be text, and this one is going to be excerpt. And that is going to be um, a little... Uh, excerpt that we can include in there. Um, we may or may not use that as we get in there. Um, there's some stuff we can do in view to take the body and just uh, truncate the beginning part, but there's a good chance that you maybe want to have specific text as an excerpt for the post. Um, following that, let's do table string. If I can again type right. <laughs> this one will be the slug. We're going to do that as a length of 255, which is probably going to be a little too long for what we would want for a slug, but that just gives us some, some wiggle room um, on the database end. Um, no need to uh, 
make it too um, too full. Um, we're also going to do table. Um, typically, when I do these, I have a few more columns than this. We're gonna do uh, unsigned integer, and this is gonna be visits. Default zero. This will allow us to keep track of uh, the visits. Uh, but like I was saying, I typically have more um, more fields than this for like uh, metadata and OG tags, uh, which can be added. Um, we can go ahead and add that at a later date. But um, for right now, we'll go ahead and leave this as is for um, creating the table. Um, we'll also need to um, table. Um, we'll need to create a a foreign key. Or link the foreign key, the user ID to the uh, primary key of the user uh, its table. So we are going to do user ID. Um, do references ID on on users. All right, and that's just saying the foreign key user ID references ID on the user's table. Um, this is something you don't necessarily always have to remember how to type out. Um, I have another screen open to the side of me where I'm pulling um, some of this from, but because um, <laughs> it's, it's never easy to remember on the fly. But um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at with that migration. Um, we'll do the. We'll go ahead and create the model for this um, a little later. Um, for right now, we'll just keep it just the. Um, the migration there. Um, we'll also go ahead and create a uh, cedar to go with it. Um, make cedar um, blog posts table cedar. If you didn't notice, I'd uh, tried this command previously to make sure that I was uh, had the right one in mind <laughs> because uh, um, uh, I hadn't ever uh, created the cedar that way before. Um, me being uh, <laughs> novice in certain aspects of, of Laravel. Uh, as it says here, we've already got it created because I, I obviously created it earlier. Um, so basically, um, when you create this, um, this won't be present. Oopsies, factory. So this won't be there and this won't be there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add um, faker as well as uh, the faker variable um, with the create faker uh, instance on it. Um, uh, this will allow us to um, uh, access the faker stuff. Um, again, this this may or may not be the best practices for creating the cedar file, but this is kind of how I've, I've been doing it recently. So we're gonna do for each range of one to 10 as index. Basically, we're gonna, it's gonna loop through it uh, 10 times. Basically, um, this portion of my code, you know, it's nice to have it clean, but at the same time, it's, you know, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this is just migrations and cedar files, and um, there's a good chance you're going to create it and uh, not touch it very much. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's do user. ID equals one. Um, there, you know, you could always do it like a faker factory uh, or create a factory where you do users. I believe this might already have a user factory in place, um, so we might just do that. Um, so, yeah. So we'll do. Oh. Uh, We're still going to just leave that as one, but we're going to. If you come over to this database cedar file and uncomment this out here, um, it'll go ahead and run. When we do our, our cedar, it'll go ahead and create a few users for us too. Um, but this will just this here is just going to add um, the user ID of one to each one. Um, we can do um, a later date. We can uh, fix that up a little bit, um, make that a little bit cleaner. Um, title is going to be faker text of 50 oops 
need a comma there. <laughs> and then we're going to do um, let's what did we call our post field? We called it body. So let's go body. Uh, body, not Bobby. <laughs> we're going to do Faker. This one is going to be a paragraph. Um, Faker makes this really easy to do some of these things. So we're going to do 15 and true. Um, <clears throat> so this says number of sentences 15 and then um, variable number of sentences is true. Um, Let's see here. What else did we put in here? State. So let's do state. And we're going to say this is published. We're going to just say these are all published for now. Um, slug. Um, we are going to string replace. I think there's a slugify um, option um, with Laravel now, but um, I'm still pretty much used to just string replace on some of these. Um, then we're going to do faker text. Um, we're going to say 20. Um, again, um, the, the slug is not going to necessarily match up with the title. A lot of times you might have the slug kind of match with what we have for the title. In this case, it's, it's going to be a little different, uh, but that is okay. And let's see here. And then visits are defaulting to zero, so we don't need that. So I think we got state excerpt is nullable. This is, isn't going to input um, excerpt in there at all. We don't. Um, oh, let's go ahead and add excerpt in there. I changed my mind already. <laughs> Baker, we're going to say text. And we're going to say 200. Actually, let's do paragraph. And we're going to say. F uh, Number of sentences. We are going to say three and true. All right. So that gets our uh, migration created as well as our um, cedar. Um, we'll need to go ahead and here uh, in our database cedar file, we need to go ahead and do. Let me pull that up real quick. We're going to do this call blog post table seeder class. And basically, um, when we when we run um, PHP artisan db seed, it'll pull from here. So it's going to create um, 10, 10, 10 new users, and then it's going to go through and um, fire this code off the blog post seeder table. And it's going to uh, loop over this 10 times and create 10 different blog posts. All right, so next we need to go ahead and start up Apache and MySQL in XAMPP because that's what we've been using. And we're going to go ahead and have to go to the admin panel because we're going to need to create the, um, the table um, for uh, this project. So this one we're going to call it blog tutorial is what the name of this table is going to be or database. I keep saying table. It's database. <laughs> if I could get my terminology right. All right. We have an env file here that was created for this. Um, we need to come in here. Database is blog tutorial. Username's root. Password is blank, which I believe is how we have this set up um, to work. Let me double check here if we, how did we name that? We named it blog tutorial. Um, uh, whatever. We're going to rename that in here. There we go. So theoretically, if we open command line CD documents, CD code, which is where I have this stored blog tutorial, we should be able to do PHP artisan migrate. And if, if it's hooked up right, it should run. Hopefully we'll see. Give it a second. Oh, yep. So that ran. So our PHP artisan migrate command ran. So our database is uh, migrated in. So we didn't have any issues with that. Um, and then you can also do the uh, PHP artisan db seed command, and that should seed our database with the data that we provided. Um, base seeders db not found. Oh, 
yeah, that's uh, that's my bad. Um, let's see here. There we go. I just typed it in instead of actually <laughs> adding that adding that in there. So um, let's see. Let's go. PHP artisan migrate reset. Let's start. Let's just do that whole thing over again. Make sure we have it fresh in there. And it's seeded properly that time. So yeah, and getting those uh, namespaces properly up at the top, the files that you're using properly, uh, helps a lot in <laughs> getting that set up. All right, so that is set up. Um, basically, we needed to have our, our migration done first before we do um, Laravel Breeze. Uh, which is our authentication package. Um, we don't necessarily, we didn't necessarily need to um, um, create our migration first, but um, in this case, kind of knowing what that we are already, the one that we already needed, we kind of we're good to go ahead and do that. So for Laravel Breeze, it, they actually make it very simple. So we're going to do composer require Laravel Breeze dev. And it's going to go ahead and uh, download and install Laravel Breeze. Uh, once that is finished, um, there's a few additional commands we, we run down here. Um, we're going to actually have to run, since we haven't on this project yet, we'll have to run npm um, install, which I guess it's going to do right there, but we hadn't run npm install uh, yet on this project either to um, get all the, uh, depend the front end JavaScript dependencies um, loaded in like um, webpack in those so we have um, let's see here package.json axios laravel mix lodash a few of these that are that are going to be needed um, for that it takes a little bit to uh, generate the autoload files i've found um, working locally it doesn't take so long on like a dev server or certain certain um, working environments it goes faster uh, on, on when you're doing it locally on your local machine it tends to to take a little longer um, in the meantime, we can go ahead and um, I'm gonna open another command line window. CD documents, CD code, CD log, tutorial, CD blog. If I typed it right, <laughs> tutorial. And we're gonna get add git commit m. Uh, this is just committing our changes we've made so far. We're going to say we uh, added the blog migration file and cedar files. All right, so that is committed and ready to be pushed when we are ready. We'll go ahead and wait and push that all at the same time. Um, and we'll go ahead and jump ahead until after this is done loading. All right, and that got finished up. I think it got stuck in some sort of loop, so it kind of hung there for a little while, but that's okay. So now we should be able to go and do uh, npm install. This should uh, theoretically uh, install all of our packages, um, pending if we, you know, configured anything wrong from the from the get-go, which is always a possibility. Um, we did a, uh, uh, this is all a fresh install on a new, new machine, so I'm kind of working from scratch, the same as um, somebody who would have been uh, starting off uh, new, basically. All right, and those are installed, so now we should be able to do uh, npm run dev, I believe. And that uh, built all our files out. Now we should be able to navigate to, uh, let's see here. We'll open our other window and do PHP artisan serve. Okay, and then we should be able to go back to our site and we should be able to travel to login. Oop, it's saying a big fat no. Yeah, so that was my bad. I don't think I ran the PHP Artisan Breeze install command. I ran went straight into npm install. So if you do PHP Artisan Breeze install, it will go ahead and do all the scaffolding for you. So now we can do npm install. Um, basically, I skipped a step there. Um, so there was no files because I didn't uh, initialize them. So, <laughs> 
What do you know? <laughs> npm run dev. And this should uh, this will compile our files up for us. And now when this is done, now we should be able to um, view our login page. And there it is. Also, we should have a register page now, which we do. Man, they made those pages look really nice in this new uh, version 8. I like that. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching this, uh, this post or this video. Not a post, it's a video. <laughs> um, and um, tune in next time for uh, part three. Um, I'm not sure which, uh, which part we're going to be working on next, but um, subscribe, click that bell, and it'll, you'll be notified when, you, um, when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.